Plastic pollution affects every ocean and every coast worldwide. Actually, plastic litter is spread from the Antarctic to the Arctic and that from the water surface to the deep sea. That's alarming, isn't it? And, that, and yet, although it is not at all an easy task, I believe that we can change the situation. The solutions can be summarized in three keywords, reduce, remove and rescue. I will get back to these solutions a bit later on, after introducing you to the extent and the effects of plastic pollution in order to let you understand uh, why it is very important that all of us take actions and take them urgently. The nature of marine debris, marine debris has changed over or changed considerably over the last few decades and this mainly due to our massive use and production of synthetic materials such as plastic. A large portion of the plastic we use every day is single-use plastic for which recovery for use or recycling is absolutely insufficient. It has been um, estimated recently that on average 8.8 .8 million tons of plastic enter the oceans every year worldwide. Metaphorically speaking, this enormous mass um, equals the weight of 1.6 million elephants or over 60,000 blue whales, which is the, the biggest animal ever lived on Earth. Once in the water and with time, large plastic items undergo gradual fragmentation to tiny bits of plastics, so-called microplastics. And today we have trillions of such microplastic particles um, composed of these uh, fragments of larger plastic items, but also of nurdles and microbeads used in cosmetics afloat in the oceans. It is important to note that a large portion, namely 80% of um, plastic debris or, or of ocean plastic pollution, um, has its origin on land, is, is land-based. And the plastic litter um, enters the oceans via rivers, wind, untreated wastewater, or directly from the coast. The remaining 20% are origin or originate from sea-based activities such as fisheries or the transport of our goods, for example. Some of the main characteristics which make plastic so useful in our daily lives are its water insolubility, its robustness and its durability. But, however, exactly these characteristics um, account also for why uh, most plastics is not biodegradable and remains for decades or even centuries in the environment. For me, it's, it's important to note here as well that on one hand, we are using Every day we are using plastics, and most of it is single-use plastic, which we use just once, and then shortly after we throw it away. On the other hand, plastics, also single-use plastics, is produced from um, finite natural resources, such as oil. And the material is made as such that it lasts almost forever. This contradiction appears to me nothing more than a senseless waste of natural resources. Once in the ocean, plastics threatens marine life. You can see here on the left side, you can see two pictures and they depict a little bit what happens to animals. So first of all, plastics maybe, or whales, sea turtles, um, seabirds, many other marine life ingest plastic and die agonizingly due to um, intestinal blockage and starvation. And the lower um, picture uh, on the left shows you the stomach of a stranded sperm whale which was full of plastic bags. Marine litter may also act as a trap. Imagine fishing lines or packaging straps caught around the neck or other body parts of, of the animal may lead to injuries and even death. Marine litter may also poison marine animals. 
as harmful substances contained in plastic or attached to plastic may be absorbed by the animal's body. Finally, marine litter or plastic litter may also serve as a kind of mobile home for alien species as they use plastic litter to drift to new habitats where they can threaten the local ecosystem. The commitment of ocean care to tackle this immense problem of ocean plastic pollution can be divided in three main domains, namely reduce, remove and rescue, as I will shortly introduce in the following. Reduce. To stop plastic pollution, we have to make sure that plastic doesn't enter the ocean in the first place. In this spirit, we at Ocean Care are convinced that it is important to raise public awareness in order to reduce the magnitude of our plastic consumption and also in order to improve our disposal of plastic litter. Ocean Care also advocates for regulation that will reduce plastic pollution nationally, regionally, but also globally. Remove. As we have seen, there is an enormous amount of plastic litter in the oceans. Therefore, Ocean Care also challenges and supports cleanup activities on beaches, for example, but also the collection and the analysis of plastic litter afloat in the oceans. Rescue. Imagine, imagine um, seals, dolphins, especially when they are young, they are curious. So they investigate marine litter and they may be entangled. In order to disentangle those animals and to nurse them and to re release them healthy back to the ocean, Ocean Care is also cooperating and supporting various um, animal rescue networks um, around the globe. As you have seen now, plastic pollution or ocean plastic pollution is a serious environmental issue. As I said also at the beginning, I believe we can stop plastic pollution, but only if all of us are insisting and claiming better regulations and better waste management. And also, if we all ask for a progressive design of reusable and recyclable products in order to reduce our waste production. However, to me personally, it seems also very important to note that there is really a major need of a change of habits in all of us. Because it matters very much or a lot what choices we make with reference to the consumption of plastic products, the consideration of alternative products, but also with reference to how we dispose of plastic waste. Thank you very much.